So, on this question, we are asked, out of which jar do you stand more chance of picking a yellow? And we'll say they're sweets. So, in jar A, we have one yellow, three reds. So, there's one yellow out of a total of four sweets. And in jar B, we have one yellow out of a total of one, two, three, four, five sweets. Remember, the top or bottom is the total number of sweets. So one out of four is yellow there, one out of five is yellow there. So the probability of getting a yellow here is one quarter. The, ch the probability or chance of getting yellow here is one fifth. So which has the bigger chance? So this question is asking us really, which is bigger, one quarter or one fifth? Now, you might be able to, or you should be able to know straight away that a quarter is bigger than a fifth, but let's just think two ways in which we can do it. We can turn one quarter into a decimal using our calculator, or hopefully we know that anyway, but on a calculator you do top divided by bottom. Now, this calculator says one quarter, but if we press the SD, we get 0 0.25 as a decimal there and 1 divided by 5 equals, turn it into a decimal, 0 0.2, which I could write as 0 0.20. And we can see that 0 0.25 is bigger than 0 0.2, so jar A we are more likely. So the answer to the question is jar A. Another way we could have do it is to compare the fractions. So 1 quarter and one-fifth if we find a common denominator, and the common denominator of four and five is 20. So if I multiply the bottom of four by five, I get 20, I get the 20. So I multiply the top by five, and I get five twentieths. And here, five, multiply the bottom by four, so multiply the top by four, four twentieths. And we can see that five twentieths is bigger than four twentieths, which confirms our answer is jar A.